Okay, so we've got all the bits to make a vacuum manifold. I've just pre drilled this. This is an old aluminium block off a machine, an old hinge. A couple of pneumatic fittings with speed controls for the air pneumatic rams. So we'll have one of those on each side. One goes off to the pump, one goes to the work, one just your normal vacuum gauge that you use for your manifold checking, fuel pressure gauge. That will go into there. And then the other side will go off to the job, to the gearbox checking, and then we've got some test, test nipples, so we can test how much clearance is in the hole. Okay, so just mark 100 mil by 60 wide. I'm going to cut it with a jigsaw, make our vacuum plate. So we're just going to make a picture frame for doing the silicon seal. So just draw some holes. So it's a little bit smaller than the plastic we're going to use. So we can just fill that cavity with the silicon sealant and then press that in. So we've marked it on the table where we're going to clamp this down. We've got some thin glad wrap stuff. So we're going to stick that down so that it doesn't stick to the bench. I've just put a little bit of oil in this zone here so that the this pl clear plastic will stick to the bench and then if you put the perspex on here and you press in it actually sucks onto it so now I'm just going to cut this out Just got that little piece there so we've duct taped the picture frame so it doesn't move so this is transparent which uh, hopefully means it's clear okay so I just went and did a few beads like that forgot to bloody start the camera we've got a few little air bubbles here And it's a bit too thick. So we need to spread it out a bit. Okay. No. Press this on. Then on there, and then we'll clamp. Oh, that's it. Nice and tight, and now we need to let that dry. Might just scrape off all the excess here. So, we're going to carry on drilling out the manifold. And this is a quarter, quarter inch BSP focus for the fittings, have a tap, 
length, so we're going to do an 11.5mm drill. Okay, so we'll just tap in the hole. So I'll just test it with this one. I guess we're about three or four threads in. So I might go a little bit more. So we've got a vacuum pump which can pull almost 30 inches of mercury into the manifold. We've got the valve open, so we've got full flow. We've got our gauge. So this side here is your inches of mercury. And then we've got our test line. And we've got two test nipples. We've got a 0 0.6, which is under the size that we want, and a, point, a one millimeter, which is 0 0.1 bigger than what we want. So when it's running at the moment, it'll pull five inches of mercury. <coughs> That's right on five inches. So we'll do it with the one mil, the one mil test nipple. <coughs> so that's about 17 inches of mercury if you've got a one mil gap. So now we've got the 0.6. <coughs> so that's showing 25 inches of mercury. And then if we block the hole, we're getting about 27 inches of mercury. So if there's no leak, 27, if we've got a hole that's 0.6, we'll be up at the 25 inches there. And if we're down at the biggest leak that we want to get, we're at about 17. So now we need to work out how to make a adapter to the ceiling plate. And I think we'll let the ceiling plate dry, the silicon dry for probably two days before we remove this, just to be on the safe side.